Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video. This time we're building a small little cottage styled house called Woodgrove Cottage. Now the reason I built this was because in my Sims 3 101 tutorial on how to make sloped driveways, people were asking me to upload that house <laughs> that I had just put in there as a demonstration house. Um, and and I decided I, I might as well build a house that is based on that little design because you guys liked it. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. So we obviously start off with the sloped driveway. And as I said, if you want to learn how to do it, you can go check out the tutorial that I did on it recently called Sims 3 101 Sloped Driveways. And that will teach you uh, how to do this. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun and it creates some really cool designs. Uh, so we're just sort of putting in all the foundation of the house. I, I made this house a little bit bigger than the original in that uh, in that tutorial because that would have been way too small for an actual house to exist on. Um, I mean, I guess you probably could have gotten away with it, actually. I mean, I say it was too small, but you definitely could live in it. I mean, it wouldn't be luxurious, but it could have been done. Um, and it, this house uses, I believe it uses university, uh, late night, ambitions, and pets. I think those the four expansions that this house uses. And a couple of items of store content, not much. So it's pretty, it's pretty uh, respectable in in terms of what it uses. I was trying to figure out the best way uh, to get the entrance into this house. I was going to do it on this left hand side of the house, but I couldn't, I couldn't get the roof uh, in that position to look good. So I just flipped it over to where I had originally put it in um, on the other house that I did. So I just chucked it on that side, and it seemed to work just fine. Uh, so the, the exterior design of the house is more or less done. Now we're just going to do some landscaping. I was just leveling down the land there. So then when I use a smooth tool, it's smoothed out a little bit more naturally than it would otherwise. Um, and now I use the same sort of, again, I use the same sort of exterior design that I did in the tutorial house. Um, just because that, that's what people said they liked. So I, I figured I might as well not change it. There's no point to sort of drastically change it up. Uh, I go for similar colors, which I... I, I, do, I do change, actually, in a little bit, um, because I wasn't happy with it. The original house did have that sort of uh, terracotta-styled roof, and I actually do put that back in this one, because I didn't like... When I when I stood back and had a look at the grey colour, I didn't I didn't really like it. It, it seemed too bland um, to have just a grey roof. It, it needed a bit of colour. And the, the wallpaper downstairs at the moment you can see is bricks. I changed that to stone, which is... I believe it was stone in the original house as well. Um, and I, I think that wallpaper that I use is the only thing that actually requires ambitions because it was an ambitions wallpaper. So I think if you don't have ambitions, you should probably be fine for downloading this. That nothing drastically uh, massive should be lost, really. Um, oh, actually, that was, that was one thing I did use. I did use a, a store set for the kitchen. Um, quite an old. It was one of the original sets on the store, I think. One of the one of the first ones anyway. I think it's called like Bayside Kitchen or something. Um I I've never owned it up until this point. I, I recently bought it. It was like 600 points or something, 700 points, not too much. I had a few left over so I thought I'd just snap that up. Um pretty good little set actually. I like I liked it. Just doing the interior layout here. We've got a small little hallway there that leads off the sort of main living area of the house. So we have three bedrooms. We have like the master bedroom, a kids bedroom and a teen bedroom. Uh, at least that's how I've sort of laid it out, or well, that's how I've designed it in the end. So that is how you'll see it all come together. Uh, choosing the tiles for the kitchen. I wasn't sure what I wanted to go for in the kitchen, really. I was kind of playing around. Uh, then I believe I just went with... Did, did I do tiles, or did I just do wood? I can't remember now. I don't know. I built this a couple of days ago, actually. It's already, it's already been up on my site for a day or so. Um, so if you were vigilant and were actually visiting my site, then you would have already seen the house and, and known that a, a speed build was on the way. Uh, but yes. So anyways, um, yeah, I did wood in the end, obviously. And just doing all the colors on the interior. It's a very light sort of interior. I do change the wallpapers a bit because I've, obviously at the moment it's a really white sort of beige color on the inside and it's horrible. Um, it's quite sterile in terms of colors at the moment, but that all just sort of evolved. Um, I usually just pick uh, temporary colors when I'm sort of building or furnishing just so I can paint the walls and floors so it doesn't look too bad. Uh, so yeah, so here's the kitchen. This was the store set I was talking about. I believe it's called Bayside Kitchen or along those lines, something similar to that. I don't know, I liked the kitchen, uh, and I, I knew known it existed for, well, like four years now. Oh, actually, I like guess nearing five years. Well, not quite five years in existence, but, um, yeah. Oh, I, I was trying to put that kitchen cabinet in the corner there, and it would not place. It's ridiculous. And if you put a fridge next to cabinets, they always turn into a corner piece, so I had to move the fridge over the other side of the room, which I think is actually in a better place, um, the fridge now, because 
it just seems better suited sitting in a corner rather than in the middle. Um, there isn't that much seating in terms of tables. <laughs> I mean, there's that table, that three seater table, and then there's like uh, the little bar stool, which I just got rid of because it didn't make any sense to have one bar stool. But you could add in the, the, the bar stool again if you wanted. But they have that one little table with three seats around it. Ideally, you'd want four seats, uh, but there was no room in this house. And one thing I did realize uh, when <laughs> when I was about to finish the house is that I didn't leave room for stairs coming up from the garage. And that, that did kind of annoy me. But I had already, <laughs> I had already fully furnished the house. So I was like, ah, right, well, I'm not adding stairs in now, am I? Because there's no room. Uh, so what I did, I just put like a door next to the garage down the bottom. So you basically just park in the garage, walk up the driveway and that kind of stuff. Um, it's not ideal, but... Um, it, you could you could do a renovation of this house. I was considering putting the stairs out the back of the house because you could do that. Um, and I guess that would be a good little sort of renovation project if you were to renovate this house uh, to sort of add an extension out the back. If you if you chuck this house on a larger lot, then you could expand out the back and, and do lots of kind of things. Um, lots you could do with it, I think. Uh, doing the living area here. I was trying to figure out the best way to sort of divide up this room because it is a it it's a very... It's a, it's a pretty big room, but the problem is we have doors on every single wall. Well, actually, there's one we don't, but we more... Oh, no, we do have doors on every wall, because there's all that bedroom door right there next to the TV. Uh, so we have doors on every wall in this room, which makes it hard to sort of place things. Um, but I think I got a pretty good placement in the end. So that this is kind of where the, the sofas are going to be sitting. Uh, I don't think they change from this point forward. I do adjust the TV, though, because I didn't like how the TV was on a, a slope, or a slant, rather. In that position, it seemed a bit weird, and I was getting it was getting to my OCD in terms of placement of the TV. It was just like, what are you doing? I wish you could have um, the base of the TV like uh, flush against the wall, but then rotate the TV on top. That would be cool to see, because um, that, that's what you do in reality. Like in in my in my place at home here, we have like the, obviously the, the the TV cabinet, and then the TV sitting on top. But then the TV is rotated slightly so that everybody in the room can see it. Um, you can't do that in Sims, so uh, it's just one of those things. One of those things. Uh, which would be a nice, pretty small, pretty simple thing that they could do in The Sims 4. Um, no idea if they... I mean, it might be so in insignificant that nobody even thinks about it in Sims 4, but if I get a chance to suggest that to them, I totally will, because it it's just small things like that in The Sims that could be improved. Like, it's such a small thing, and I think it would be... Like, I mean, in reality, it's very easy to do, because what you do, you just have the TV cabinet as a separate object, and then the, you just have the TV placed on top of the cabinet. But you can't do that at the moment, because all the TVs are one unit, and there's no TV you can just place on top of... Um, like, there's no flat-screen TV you can just place on top of a, uh, a cabinet. So, um, yeah, but if they did it that way, that would... <laughs> that would work or if they, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, so that was a nice big tangent on TV placement, but it's those kind of things that you notice when you're sort of just furnishing that you, you're like, hang on, this could work a lot better if you just had this one little thing that you could, you could adjust here. I was trying to find a nice little decorative object to put on the uh, little end table. I, I didn't, I, I didn't want to use any more store content in this house because I'd already done like the whole kitchen and store content. So I didn't want the other half of the house being store content as well because then if you didn't have the stuff, because I mean, usually the case is when you, like you guys watching the video, you're not going to have every piece of store content that I have. Um, so when I do use store content, I'll try to limit it. Like I won't use it for everything. Um, and that, that, that that's sort of the same philosophy I have with using expansion packs. I, I try not to use everything. I'll use probably... Uh, some, well, obviously, sometimes I've done one expansion, sometimes I've done no expansions, other times I've used all of them. But uh, recently, more so recently, I'm trying to do just limit it to three or four expansions per build. Uh, and then, obviously, I will use store content as well because I, I've bought store content, so I'd like to use it. But I won't use too much of it because I understand that if you use too much of it and then someone downloads the house and they don't have it, it's just like... The house is completely different and it looks terrible if you don't have all the items I've used. So I, I try to limit myself in that respect. Um, just done that bathroom in there. Bathroom's nothing special, pretty pretty standard stuff. This is, uh, that was originally going to be the teen's bedroom, actually, where I put that bed. But then I realized the teen probably should have a bigger bedroom than the kid. I mean, it's just the pecking order, you know? 
the older kid gets the better room. That's usually how it goes in families, uh, or at least it's how it went in my family. I don't know about you, but uh, generally the kids get shoved in the smallest room <laughs> and then the teenagers get the bigger room because they have more stuff. Um, and I do actually switch them in a minute. Doing, Oh, yeah, so you, you'll notice I got rid of all those um, ceiling lights as well, those sort of biter bug ceiling lights, because I prefer to use actual lights in the game rather than those um, large invisible lights. Because, well, not, not really any reason. Well, I guess mainly because they get in your way when you're trying to furnish. They're bloody massive. Uh, <laughs> and they just block out so much of your view. So the kids' bedroom, they have like a little desk and then they obviously have that sort of half bunk bed. Uh, I was trying to do something interesting with the rugs. I was going to sort of join two of them together like that, but I I couldn't get the colors the right way and then I couldn't get the rug in the right position and I just didn't, it didn't work. I thought it was going to, I thought it could have been cool, but it didn't really work how, the, how I wanted it to work. As you can see, I was struggling there. I was like, no, nah, forget it. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just do something else instead. Um, yeah, so the kids' room just kind of has like a, a little toy chest and a few like stuffed animals around the room. Um, pretty sound stuff, like the toy chest, a desk, and a dresser, which I put in in a moment. A little folded pile of clothes on that desk there. That's a little uh, chest of drawers. Um, little poster on the wall. Mirror. Do I leave that? I do leave that mirror there. I thought I moved it. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I was just like, sort of looking for decorative objects I could place in the room to sort of liven it up a little bit. And I do come back uh, a bit later as well while I'm doing one of the other rooms to sort of chuck more stuff in there. Because um, I felt it needed more. But I'm... I, I think I was trying to think of something. Oh my god, that was a lot of rotating. Um, I was, I was going to put something else on top of the uh, dresser, but I couldn't find anything. But I find it later, so it's, it's alright. I found what I wanted. So we just do another, that's a different coloured teddy bear to the other one we already have. Uh, doing the parents' bedroom now, or I guess it doesn't have to be the parents' bedroom, that could be the kids' bedroom if you want it. Uh, <laughs> it's really up to you. You could chuck the kids in the double bed and then have the parents in the kids' room and then, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, whatever you want, really. Um, just sort of looking for things to sort of decorate the walls with, because I wanted to do some nice sort of objects here and there. It's a smaller house, so I did want to try and detail the interior as much as I, I could, to the best of my ability anyways. Um, and I was thinking this house could actually be a... I feel like this house in the end is actually quite a nice house that could fit into my uh, Let's Create a World series. I think this would actually fit on the island quite nicely. It's, it's not like, it's not too like non-islandy styled, but it is kind of island style. Uh, <laughs> it's a bad way to describe it. It's island style. I don't know. It's like semi-island. It feels like it could be on an island. Though. I, don't, I don't know what it is about the house, but um, I don't know. I, I might I might end up placing it in the world. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, doing the teens room now. They have a guitar. And a nice chair to sit on once I choose the chair. I had a, I actually had a bit of a tough time choosing a chair to put in there. <laughs> I was going to use the beanbaggy chair that I always use um, from Generations, I think it is. Uh, but I didn't want to add another expansion pack to the requirements list, so I did not. Um, yeah, it only requires those four expansions I mentioned earlier. Uh, just doing some sort of wall decorations now. Uh, I, I use these shelves actually, which were pretty good, and sort of stacked them together. I think they're, are they university shelves? I don't know. I, I, I missed it. I could have looked in the video to see it, but I missed it. And then I just sort of put little decorative items on the shelves. Um, this room is sort of a, it, it was kind of designed as a unisex room. So it's like, it could either be a boy or girl's room. I mean, pardon that mannequin there, but that does go. Uh, <laughs> That doesn't say, although there are like, there's like a little love heart frame thing on the wall. But of course, it's more like that thing that I was talking about. But you could just remove that very easily and make it into a, a male's bedroom. Or it could be a male that likes love heart shaped um, paintings. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's really up to them. Uh, and yeah, I've kind of just sort of chucked a few more items. That I was trying to get them to fit properly without overlapping too much. Um, like, I mean, like by overlapping, I meant going through the shelf and being too tall and all that kind of stuff. So I have a desk with a laptop in there because they need to do all their schoolwork in their room. Got that sort of same rug from the kids' room. Uh, now we move on to all the landscaping elements of the house because we've actually finished furnishing at this point in time. So we're chucking a whole bunch of rocks around there on the driveway to sort of give it a more blended look uh, instead of just having a, a sheer cliff of terrain, which doesn't always look that great. Um... I believe all those sort of plants there are, yeah, they're all store plants. Um, I figure 
plants don't really matter as much if you don't own the store content for all the plants because they should just be replaced by something pretty decent. Although I could imagine you loading up the game and you didn't have that, it would replace it with some ridiculously large shrub. That tree also is a, is a store tree. But again, it's a tree. It should be replaced more or less with a hopefully decent tree. If not, I mean, they're always pretty easy to replace yourself. So it shouldn't really be too much of a big deal. Oh, this is where I realized there's no room for stairs. Um, I was like, I was like, oh, massive face palm. Didn't do the stairs. I forgot about it. Uh, that's all right. So I just checked that sort of door there. I mean, of course, the Sims will probably walk through the garage door anyway. So you don't, you don't need a door there, but I felt like it was a nice little decorative piece. Um, there was also a bit of room in that uh, basement there to sort of expand off to the left. So you could actually add another room down there too. Uh, just doing some sort of detailings around the house, a few shrubs here and there, because the, the plot was kind of bare. So I just added a few more things around the place. And I think I added another tree around the back. Yeah, I'm doing that now. And so I add that nice tree there. I thought it was quite a nice tree, actually, from University Life, I believe it is. But we're going to jump into the screenshots any second now. Um, any second now. And there we go. There's the front of the house. So we'll see the front and then the, uh, I guess, the front again. Um, so that sloping driveway down the front underneath, which I think looks pretty cool in the end. That's where you enter. That's the front porch uh, looking over the driveway. That's from the bottom of the driveway looking up. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, around the side of the house. Is the living area with the orange accented coffee table in the middle, which I thought was pretty cool. And the desk also has an orange accent and the chair has yellow. Then outside, we also have like a little orange and yellow pot plant. So it sort of ties in those kind of colors. A bit of color here and there. That's obviously the kitchen we're looking at now. And you can see through into the living area. Uh, this is the kids room, which I think it, it turned out quite nicely in the end. Quite, it's quite childish, really, is how I would describe it. The bathroom. Nothing too extraordinary there. There's the master bedroom. I don't know if it, it's just the bedroom. I don't know if it's a master, but um, in the bedroom, like I said, it's just a small little cottage, cozy cottage. But thank you for watching. Download link in the description below. Be sure to check it out on my website. All the screenshots are there. Uh, but I will see you next time. And thank you so much for watching.